channel. So today I'm actually going to be doing a review on a new product. So as you can see, no makeup, which is always a good start because you know it's a skincare product. So I've actually purchased two new Laura Mercier products. So I've got the Tinted Moisturiser Illuminating Natural Skin Perfector. So this is what the packaging looks like. And then I've also purchased the actual, just the Tinted Moisturiser, which is the same Natural Skin Perfector, but obviously this is a, a similar product, but obviously is different because this is illuminating, this is just a tinted. So today I'm actually going to only be reviewing one, but I'll do the other on Instagram probably later on this week. So I'm going to actually try out the tinted moisturiser illuminating because I think that's more of what I want to wear today. So in the tinted moisturiser illuminating, I've got natural radiance, so that's the shade that I purchased. And then in the tinted moisturiser, I just purchased the 3N1 sand because I think that would be more my shade in this one. So I'm really excited about this because obviously... As time has gone on, my summer tan has been fading away and my skin is kind of just getting re ready for like autumn, winter and none of my tinted moisturisers that I've purchased over the summertime actually suit my skin now. They're all too dark or too orange. So I'm very excited to actually have one that suits my skin. So let's hope I pick the right shade. You may have already seen this picture on my Instagram because I got super excited when it arrived. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's very, very lovely. I've never actually purchased anything from Laura Mercier before, so I actually don't know what the quality of her products are like, but from what I see on Instagram and YouTube, I people love her or love her products. But then I also know that a lot of influencers that obviously get paid sponsorship do like review her products. So I always find that you just never really know if the product's any good or whether they're just obviously saying they're good because they're being paid to say it's good. I just, you just don't know. I just thought I would do my own honest review of this. What I really liked about this as well is that it's got SPF 30. So obviously if I travel at any point between now and when I finish using this bottle, I'm covered on my face because I hate wearing sun cream on my face. So I like to have products that have SPF in. Let's give it a whirl, shall we? So really simple applicator. It comes out like a foundation, but looks like it's the right shade for me. So that's a good start. So what I'm just going to do is just take it and dot it around my face. My skin is really healing. I don't know if you got a chance to see my hormonal acne video, which I released last week, but um, my skin has been really bad, but lately, if you can tell, it's healing, yay! This is going on really nicely. Like it's definitely my shade. It's kind of like evening my skin out. It feels really dewy, which I expect from a tinted moisturiser. And it's also really kind of blending into my skin, like amazingly well. It smells so nice. I'm sorry if you can see this. Look at that, ugh. It's um, It looks like a cold sore, because normally I get cold sores, but it actually isn't. It's where my lips gone really dry. So I was ill, and my lips got really, really dry, and then Echo, my Rhodesian Ridgeback Puffy, um, smacked me in the face with her oversized paw, and like cut my lip where it was really sore. So now this bit here, it's healing, it's like scabbing and it looks gross, but it's just, yeah, it doesn't look attractive, but there we are. Anyway, back to the product. This is just amazing. It smells so, so nice. It smells like a really nice moisturiser, but it's also even my skin out. Oh, I'm actually applying this with the Sculpting Brush by Real Techniques. I love this brush. The bristles are just so soft. Bring it down my neck a little bit. But that for me is just, that is just blended in so, so well, but it feels really lightweight, really airy, and it's evened my skin out. 
and it does look cute like you can see like the shimmer like i would go out the house without anything else on my face like i'd feel confident with just wearing that on its own which i really like that has probably got to be one of the best tinted moisturizers i have ever used right i'm going to apply the rest of my makeup and then i'll let you know how that sits on top of this and just give my overall thoughts but you already know that i think it's probably incredible but let's um let's see let's i'll go and apply some more makeup and then i'll jump back on camera and just give you the final look and review hey my love so this is the final look and i honestly have to say i'm in love i just think this is just insane like the application is amazing it's really smooth it's seamless it feels really lightweight it doesn't actually feel like i've got anything on my skin but it also gives me a nice coverage very very similar to a foundation just not full coverage so if you're a natural makeup looking kind of girl like i am i mean this is just insane or if you just feel like you need a bit more of a skin confidence boost but you don't want to go makeup -less. maybe like this is a good alternative. It is a little bit costly, so it did cost me £35, and both this and the tinted moisturiser cost me £35, but I do feel like this was kind of a really good use of my money. So I'm so, so, so impressed by this, and I couldn't recommend it more. So yeah, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with all your friends, and I'll see you next time. Bye.